So hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So today's video is just going to be real short. It's going to be how to get into your BIOS. So Windows 10 is a little bit tricky sometimes. Um, you don't always get that pop-up where you can just click on a button and as it starts up. Um, so we're going to discuss that. Uh, the first two I'm going to talk about and then I'm going to show you the third one, which a lot of you may not know about. So of course, normally when you're booting up, depending on your manufacturer of your motherboard, it's F2. You just keep tapping the F2 or the delete button. Now it could be different depending on your motherboard's manufacturer, what they have said of that. But this last one I'm going to show you, you may not know. And it's quick, simple. When you're in Windows 10 and you just want to go there quickly and have a look or whatever you want to do, here we go. I'm going to show you how that's done. Okay, so you're in Windows, everything's up, and you decide, oh, uh, maybe I need to change my XMB profile for your memory, or you just want to go into the BIOS and have a look at something. Um, you don't want to just, you're going to have to restart it, no matter what. But if you don't want to restart it and hit the delete or whatever, and you just want to get there right away, here's what you do. You go down to your Windows logo right here, click on that, go to where the power button is, when that comes up, okay, so click on the power. When you see the restart, hold down the shift key. Okay, hold that down and then click your restart. Now what's going to happen is it's going to bring up a different menu. I'm going to show you that here in just a second as it comes up. Okay, so here we go. So you've got the options for continue, use a device, troubleshoot, and turn off PC. We're going to go to troubleshoot. And you can also use this to reset your PC if you want to sell it to somebody. So you're going to go here. And this is the one if you want to reset your PC, uh, remove all previous applications, return it back to as if uh, nothing was ever done with it except for Windows. And then you could sell it to somebody. Or for going into the BIOS, we go into Advanced Options. But right over to here where it says UEFI Firmware Settings. Change settings in your PC's UEFI firmware. Okay, so click on that and it's going to ask you if you want to restart, which you're going to say yes. So when it starts up, you're going to see what I'm talking about. I'm not hitting any keys, I'm not tapping anything. Okay, there we go. Came right up to our BIOS. Everything is there. You can see I've already got my XMP profile already set. My speed's running at 3200. Now, if you don't have that set, just so you know, uh, it'll run at 2666. Okay, that's the standard for a lot of the motherboards today. Uh, same as like, I think it was 1600 or whatever it was before. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, there's The manufacturers set their own defaults. If you want to have the speed that your memory came with, you're going to go in here and you want to change it. But we, we, showed, we showed you that in the last video a little bit. So I'm going to go more in depth into this BIOS in another video. So if you want to see that, I know somebody's already told me they did want to see it. So I'm planning on doing that. But here we are. We're in our BIOS. We make our changes. And now because I haven't made any uh, actual changes, I'm just going to exit out. And it'll tell me, okay, I haven't made any changes to the BIOS settings. So I'm going to say yes and exit. If you have then it'll be F10, save, save it, and then exit. Okay, that's what you're going to be looking for. Save and exit, restart. That's what you're going to be looking for if you make changes. So we're just going to exit, and it's going to restart the Windows, and we're good to go. And Windows is going to come back up. And we're all set. So that's just a quick and easy how to get there and what you need to do. Because sometimes sitting at delete key and F2, you can miss it. But what, So if you miss it and you're tapping it and it's just, ah, oh, I went there anyway, no problem. Use this method. So that's it. So if you're tired of tapping the F2 on delete and sometimes missing it because you know, you're talking to somebody and you're like, oh, now i got to do this all over again. There you go. That's an easy method to do it. Anyhow, if you like that video, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Hit that bell for future notifications for videos coming up. And if you're new here, think about subscribing. Take care. See you next time.